Hello and welcome to How I Went From Broken to Bulletproof. If you're watching this, I assume you're dealing with knee pain yourself, so I apologise for that. I do feel bad. Obviously, I've been through it myself. I know exactly where you've been. I've got out of it. And hopefully this today, this training will help you get to where I am today. Back to playing football, back to sport, feeling good, healthy knees. So yeah, let's go through it. So today I'm going to share with you the knowledge you'll need to not only get back to where you were before injury, playing football, but far beyond. We want to go far beyond because where you were before injury, you got injured. So if we're able to get above that, then maybe you won't get injured next time. And also, I will give the exact four-step plan that I used, and you can start using today to start your journey to getting pain-free. But first, I'll tell you a bit about my story. So obviously what we see nowadays is that the traditional route isn't working. There is over 100,000 knee replacements done each year, and that's just replacements. Imagine the amount of smaller surgeries. I had keyhole surgery where there was two screws put back into my knee, not back into my knee, put into my knee to keep my kneecap held together because a part of it was snapped off. So imagine how many of those, how many keyhole surgeries, how many knee replacements, how many ACL surgeries, and each knee replacement costs upward of 16000 Others range from 3500 3, to 10000 If you're going private in the UK, you're going to be paying for this yourself. If you're in America and you haven't got insurance, again, you're going to be paying for this yourself. So think about what is going to happen if you end up having another knee injury and having to need surgery. So, my story. At the age of 16, I had a life-changing cha knee injury. So I snapped part of my kneecap off. And at first, I went in to see the physio. I had no clue what it was. They said it was meniscus damage. They said um, it was ligament damage. They pretty much just gave me diagnoses which were completely wrong. And after a year of rehab, a <laughs> second opinion from another physio, which I was asking for the entire time for my first physio, um, led to an MRI. They literally came in within 20 minutes and said, oh, you can't do these things, you're going to need an MRI. So they found out that my kneecap was snapped and I went on a six month wait list for surgery. So even before surgery, a year, my, uh, a year and a half of my life was wasted. And just by talking to the people in my community on Instagram, this has happened to you as well. I've, I've been on many calls where people saying the physios aren't giving me my scans. I've been waiting this long for surgery. So imagine how much longer you're going to wait. You need to start taking action now. So yeah. In December 2018, I had the keyhole surgery, and the recovery is underway. So, at this point, they told me, six months, you'll be back to football. So, I'm like, six months, that's nothing. I'll just put in the work, six months, fine. But that was a complete lie. It, yeah, I was doing their physio for a year and a half with the NHS, and they said six months' time. And I got to March in 2020. And COVID hit, and my, I still had ridiculous pain in my knee. My muscles were definitely bigger because a lot of traditional physio works on your muscles, but they don't actually address the internal to the knee, which is where my problems were. So I was still dealing with a lot of internal knee pain. And now, because I didn't have access to this physio or a gym or anything like that, not only did I have this internal knee pain, but my, my legs also completely shrunk. My muscle completely atrophied. So at this time, I was in constant pain. Every step I was taking, my screws were coming out of place and I had to push them back in. So you can see what kind of a mess I was in. And from this, all this atrophy, all this damage in my knee, I was getting teletendinitis, pain in my quad tendon, my hamstring tendon behind my knee was clicking every time I took a step. Everything was just in constant pain. And I was hopeless. I was like, I have no idea what I'm going to do, but I need to do something. So I took matters into my own hands. And like I say here, like I probably spent a good 100 plus hours in the three months of lockdown researching. While everyone else was playing Warzone. <laughs> Stuff like that. I was just spending hours and hours and hours and hours and hours researching. I needed my knee fixed. I was like, I'm going to spend all this time that I've got doing something. So I was reading studies, watching online knee rehab videos, reading articles and reaching out to people. And everything, all the information was the same. It was what I was told by my original physio. There was nothing that I was like making me hopeful. It was just all the traditional route. 
But then I stumbled onto a YouTube channel called Knees Over Toes Guy. And this is where stuff started going crazy. It was completely different to anything I'd ever seen. And I was like, I need this. This He has clearly found something that works. He's had 10 knee surgeries, Ben Patrick. So I just said, right, I'm going all on it all in on this and for the next three years I put everything into it followed everything he said tried all of his programs for months at a time watched all of his YouTube videos over and over and over read read every article that he put out subscribed to his email list reading all of them working my ass off in the gym and I just wanted to get back to football that was my one goal I hadn't played football in years I that was like mm, the way I could express myself when I was young and I just wanted to get back and then five years later after my original knee injury, five years later, back on the pitch, all thanks to this new method, not the traditional physio, not the focusing on muscle building, not saying that's bad, muscle building is totally good, but if your muscles are big and your internals of your knee aren't, you're still going to have internal knee pain like I did. So for the last year and a half now, playing five aside, and now I'm playing 11 aside week in, week out, no pain in my knee whatsoever, it feels so good. Every single time I step on the pitch, I'm the most grateful person there. Don't care what the outcome is. I'm playing football. It feels amazing. Every, other people are complaining because the weather's, weather's off. Weather's cold. It's hard work. Cardio's gone. I'm not complaining one bit. I love it. Absolutely love where I am. And now I want to share with you the exact four steps which took me three years to, to find and which fixed my knee in two years compared to having five years out of the sport. And the structure is first, we're going to rejuvenate the insides of the knee. And then we want to rebalance side to side, restructure the internals of the knee, and then reintroduce sport. And I'm going to run through all of this here so you know exactly what your next steps are. First, why should you listen to me? Obviously, by what you've just read, I've been through it. I've been in the lowest of lows, screws coming out of my knee, everything you can think of, ligament pain, tendon pain, everything in my left knee, my muscles completely atrophied, so no matter where you are, I started at the bottom, I know where you are, you've seen where I am now, you've seen my journey, and you can do it too. That's one of the reasons. The second reason is that I've learned from the best. I have access to all these three people, News Over Toes Guy, 2 million followers. 2,400 success stories, even above that now, he's changed the game of knee rehab, getting out of pain, every part of the body, not even just the knees, shoulders, back, everything, ATG system is crazy, and then Keegan is also the head of, well, he's, he's part head of ATG for coaches, and I'm also in his private community, so I have access to him whenever I want. And he's coached Premiership winning NRL teams, which is rugby league teams, if if people didn't know. And he's also the personal coach, well, he was the personal coach to Sonny Bill Williams, which if you follow rugby, you know how massive, well, even if you don't, you know how massive this guy is. So, yeah, and then Ben Clairfield is also one of the coaches that works for ATG for Coaches, and he's level three Poliquin certified. So Charles Everything that Charles Polkin knew, he has now taken on himself, and I'm being taught that. He's a personal coach to multiple NFL athletes, so I am literally learning from the best trainers in the world, the best coaches in the world. And when you learn from the best in the world, there's only one thing you can become. <laughs> Not to get big. <laughs> but yeah, so step one, rejuvenate. So basically, when you see pictures like this, you can tell here, now, ligaments and tendons do not get the blood flow compared to the muscles. The muscles in these pictures are much more red, so they get a lot more blood flow. Ligaments and tendons are much slower to heal for this reason. So we need to somehow figure out a way to get as much blood flow as possible without any pain into those joints to start with. And the easiest way to be able to do this is the backward sled. When I found this tool, I literally done it first time and my knee pain within five minutes was relieved somewhat and I was like, I haven't had this kind of relief in in years. So I'd done this and I was like, 
I'm doing this every every single day. And for the last two and a half years, I've done it every single day. You can do it every single day because it's not going to break down the tissue inside of your knee, all the connective tissue, stuff like that. It's just going to promote loads of blood flow and promote healing. So options you can do for this. Sorry, just move it out of the way. Uh, backwards treadmill. Anything you can drag. I think one of my clients is, is using a tire in his back garden shell. <laughs> um, sled, sled's pretty much the best. You can put however much weight on it you want, from little as just the sled to as much as you want, depending on how, how strong you are, and that can build up your strength over time. Whereas backwards treadmill is still getting a lot of blood flow, but it's not working on the strength at the same time. And then also walking backwards uphill and running backwards uphill is also a good option for this. So that's going to get loads of blood flow in the knee, start promoting the healing and getting the connective tissues going. And then the second step we've got is rebalancing the quad muscles. So when I was looking at my legs, as you can see in this picture on the left, the first thing I noticed was that my muscle was completely gone in COVID. Every, when I wasn't going to the gym, my muscle on my injured side that had so much damage had completely shrunk because I'm not using as much. I was compensating. And the bigger and stronger you can get the muscles, the more protected your knee will be. Not to say that you shouldn't strengthen your internals at the same time. This is a must. Because traditional physios only focus on this part. Whereas the next steps which you're going you're gonna to see in this are going to be the internals as well. So, as you can see, I went from this picture on the left to this picture on the right within a year and a half. You see how much more balanced my legs are side to side. This means that when you're out on the pitch, each side is gonna be producing and being able to handle the force they're producing on each side. So you're not gonna be compensating. You're not gonna have those issues where you produce too much force on one side and your other side can't handle it. This is gonna be really, really key when starting off. That's why it's step two. And then step three, is to sorry i got a bit ahead of myself now. i'm still on step two so yeah for this rebalancing this is how we're going to do it look at quad focus single leg exercises we can add in an extra set on the weaker side to rebalance the legs if we're doing more work on the, that weaker side it's going to be building more muscle so we can do things like reverse step outs for high reps to start with and then build up the load and then after that high and then load and then again with the ATG split squat again it's a single leg exercise so each leg is getting worked singularly and that means we're going to be able to do an extra set on the weaker side and rebalance that muscle which is going to be super key for this however we need to make sure that these exercises have regressed to a pain-free level everything I talk about here is going to be a pain-free level if it's about a one out of five, maybe you might be able to go through it and it might be right, especially for people who are really, really, really bad knees. I know that at the start, I had to go through the tiniest amount of pain because everything was painful. And the backward sled and blood flow did help with this. So if you are dealing with pain, you try them. And also VMO squats with floss bands wrapped around your knees. Try them as well, 100 reps of those, and that's going to be getting a lot of blood flow in the knee. And when you're getting blood flow in your knee, your knees aren't going to be hurting as much when you go in to do these reverse step-ups, when you go in to do these ATG split squats. So yeah, that's going to be step two. And now we're on to step three. It's going to be restructuring the knee. So one thing that I didn't understand at the time, and also the physios who were trained to, to know this kind of stuff, I think they knew the concepts, but not to the level that I've been taught with Ben Patrick and Keegan Smith and all these people. It's the concept of long range. Long range exercises can really restructure the internals of the knee, as well as long range exercises, joint dominant movements. Anything that's directly strengthening the tendons, ligaments, connective tissues, they can't. I don't know if you've heard that Connective tissues can't get stronger, they can. Mine have. Many other people's have, they can. Might not be the research catched caught up yet. Everything's 20 years behind. There's some research out there, but nothing definitive. But just from the examples that we've seen, look at Ben Patrick, 10 knee surgeries. Now he hasn't had a set, knee setback in 10, 11 years. 
and his connected tissues are um, so resilient. So yeah, they gave me exercises like lunges, Bulgarian split squats, leg extensions, and these all help out with quads, but they also include the glutes, everything like that. But they didn't necessarily target the connected tissue. If you do them in certain ways, you may be able to, but the ways that they were teaching me to do it personally, and they've probably taught many of you who are watching this right now, is not going to strengthen the connective tissues as much as we would like. So I learned this concept from Keegan Smith. It's the concept of long-range exercises. He suggested that the long-range exercises, such as an ATG split squat, and especially ones where we're getting a full range of motion, you see here we're getting the hamstring to completely cover the calf, are going to really put more load on the connective tissues. And in turn, this is going to cause more ad adaptation within the knee. And now, this is a very, very advanced level. I am getting here. <laughs> it's taken me a long time. I am getting to this point now. But it can be taken to extremes for freaky knee ability. Look at this. This is called a reverse Nordic. It's an extreme long range movement because not only are the quads under extreme stretch here, hip flexors are, tibs are, all of this is under stretch and load at the same time. And if you can handle this, don't try this straight off the bat, but if you can handle this, you're going to get some freaky, freaky knee ability, freaky bulletproofing. We want to eventually aim to get to this kind of level. It's all right if we don't get there. But we just want to always be improving, always, always, always be striving for more. Bulletproofing isn't a concept of you're either you're bulletproof or you're not. It's a scale. How bulletproof are you? How much stronger are your knees? How much more resilient are your knees? It's not, I'm going to shoot a bullet at your knee and it's going to reflect. It's not what bulletproofing means. And now, once we have got loads of blood flow into the knee, once we have rebalanced the quad muscles, once we have restructured the internals of the knee, once we're hitting certain numbers on certain lifts such as step ups, A to G split squats, A to G squats, Nordics, stuff like this, once we are at this point, we start to introduce, reintroduce exercise. Especially if you're pain free in all of these exercises. When I had no knee pain day to day, I felt like it, I was ready. My quads were balanced. My lifts were hitting certain numbers. I started to reintroduce more specific activities. So I started with hip pliers, things like single leg hops, which are one of the lowest levels of pliers, and then backward sprints, and then forward sprints, and then depth jumps, and then bounds, getting more and more extreme as we can handle it more and more. I didn't go straight into bounds or depth jumps straight off the bat with really high elevation. I started with single leg hops and then sprints and depth jumps at a certain level and then increase the levels. And then after that, start reintroducing the sport. If you think you're, you can handle all of these pliers, all right. Light versions of jumping, cutting, passing, and then going into building up the training over time, going for five, 10 minutes to start with, 15 to 20, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, up to an hour. Same with the game time. So now you have the secrets which I used to get back to football and you can start applying today. This, just knowing this stuff, putting it into action the right way will allow you to get out of knee pain. And a lot of this information is better than the coaching of hundreds of physios, coaches, puts you ahead of 99% of people. They don't know this kind of stuff. They don't know the long range concepts. They don't know about building a full range of motion. They don't know about rebalancing the muscle in the legs. They don't know how to start getting back to sport. People, and I, I'm, I'm sure you are, I'm sure I was at the time, I was so confused about what, what path to take. I didn't have any clue. But the results speak for themselves. This ATG system training in a similar way to this has gotten Ben Patrick over 2,400 knee success stories from him alone. So imagine all of the other ATG coaches as well. Imagine how many I'm going to get. And I hope you implement all the information here and become one of mine. And if you do, send me a message. I would love to hear that you've, you've found a way to get out of knee pain, to, to get better, 
um, to get less knee pain, to get back to sport, any kind of improvement on what your situation is. If I've helped you get there, I want to know because it's, it makes me feel amazing being able to help people who are in the same situation as me get out of that situation. It's such a beautiful thing that we're doing. It's literally God's work. Okay, hair change, location change. <laughs> it's been a couple of months since I recorded that, but I've just come with an update for people that want to work one-on-one -on -one with me in my exclusive online coaching community. So now I'm going even further in my mission to guide and support people, and I've created an exclusive online coaching community to help people like you overcome knee pain and get back to the sport you love. And this community is not for everyone. It's for you if you struggle with constant pain and discomfort that interrupts your daily activities, if you have frustrations about being sidelined from your sport due to injury, if you've tried traditional physio and strength training and it hasn't helped, if you have a constant feeling of being stuck in a never-ending cycle of injuries, if you are experiencing stress and anxiety, feeling that you might never be able to respect, return to the sport you love. These are all the things I was experiencing, and if you're doing this, the coaching is definitely for you. However, I want to keep it for people who are really serious. So the coaching is not for you if you're, if you're unwilling to invest time and money into your physical condition. It's not for anyone not willing to work hard. And it's not for anyone who's looking for a quick fix and doesn't take your own results seriously. Now you have a clear picture of who this coaching is for. And you're probably thinking, how does it actually work? Well, I've spent months creating this experience which can transform the trajectory of your knees in just 16 weeks. If you're doubtful, stay with me and, and I'll share some amazing stories that show how powerful this can be. Testimonials from my current clients which I've been working on this process with. So here's exactly how I'll guide you. It's a 12 phase thing so it's not, it's not anything easy. And obviously you have four steps, which I've gone through in this video, but if you want to take it to the next level, this is what I do. So phase one is orientation and welcome. Phase two is assessment of where you're at. Phase three is understanding the new way of training. Phase four is rejuvenating the knee, as you've seen in before. Phase five is understanding why the whole body is connected, why our ankles can play a role with our knee pain, why our hips can play a role, why our low back hurts because we've got knee pain, why our low back hurts because we've got ankle pain. Everything is connected. The whole body is connected. And then we go into rebalancing leg to leg, the quad size. Then we go into restoring different ranges of the motion. So if you're struggling with extension, if you're struggling with flexion, this is where we work on that. And I have a few little uh, tricks and tips to be able to do that. Um, and then we go on to restructuring the internals of the knee. We build connective tissue as well as the muscle. And then phase nine, we hit the basic standards. And if we're hitting these basic standards, I'm going to say that you're, you're most likely going to be out of pain. Um, so then we start to reintroduce the sport. We start to do the plyometrics. We start to, we start to introduce 10 minutes of game time, all that stuff I was talking about. And then phase 11, we increase our athletic capabilities. So once we've reintroduced the sport, we want to go beyond. We want to hit the bulletproof standards. We don't want to get to a point where we can get back to the sport. We want to go beyond that. We want to, we want to make sure that it never happens again. And here's what you'll get in the actual program if you're selected. So you get an individualized assessment straight off. You get customized ex exercise plans, which will be within an app, um, which you can just download onto your phone. It'll, you'll know exactly what days to do, what exercises, the form videos will be on there. And then you can send form videos in for me for form coaching here. So, you know, you're exactly getting the exercise right. Um, and then we have weekly interactive workshops where we go over topics, have questions and answers, um, and make sure that everyone who needs this extra support is getting it. And then we have nutrition and recipes. The training is just one part of it. We want to be getting into the nutrition, the recovery, all these kinds of stuff. And we go into that in, in the community. And then the bonuses are on online community. So we have a Telegram group chat where we post in um, different resources. We help different people with, with different um, problems. So if someone has an ACL injury and someone else does, they ask questions in there and the other guy can help the other guy. So it's not just me that you're getting advice from. It's everyone going through um, the process with you. And then we have weekly check-ins and then one-on-one -on -one bi monthly strategy calls with me. So these will be on Zoom and we can go really, really deep into your situation and make sure you're on the right, right track. And then I should technically charge a lot of money for this program because it's produced dozens of new success stories. This is just one. So this is getting back to football. Fred was able to get back to football, um, moving quicker and better with no pain. 
playing football without knee pain, the swelling in the knees gone down. So he's been able to get back to football from from doing this process, from working with me, and we've refined it while doing this. So it's going to be even quicker for you if you decide to join up. Um, and then also we have Ollie here, who, who's a cricket player, and he's been able, he came to me with tendinopathy, and he's been able to play without some sort of knee brace for first time in five years. That that's crazy. That makes me feel amazing. Just being able to have an impact on someone's life like that here. He was thinking back to when he was just walking down the stairs and he was getting pain. And we've been doing all this work to actually help that. And now he's not feeling the pain. It's completely changed his life. Um, his left knee is doing significantly better. Doesn't get sore at all anymore. And he's been with me since August. So it's, it's January now. So it's, <laughs> that's not even like four or five months. And, and it's completely, completely changed his life being in this um, process. So, yeah. I should charge a lot of money, but charging this a lot of money would make this unaccess unaccessible for where I was when I was trying to get out of knee injury. I don't want to make it unaccessible for everyone. If you're devoted, if you have the desire of getting back to football, you shouldn't you shouldn't be restricted by money. So you're super early to this, and the pricing is low. If you just remove your daily cup of pot coffee that you buy every day, it can easily be afforded. And it's important to keep this coaching exclusive to those who are serious about the results. So due to this, wait for the slide to come, I'm only selecting five people to join at a time. This this can make sure that I'm focusing on results, getting the people who are in the community, in the coaching to actually get the results. And then I can have more people come. We can refine the process even more. But I'm not just going to have swarms and swarms of people come in who aren't that bothered about the results, who aren't putting in the work, everything like that. I want people who are serious about the coaching, serious about getting out of knee pain to actually work with me and actually change their lives in just 16 weeks. And as spots fill up, after I take the five people in, I'll be increasing the price. So if you're selected to join over the next two weeks, you'll you'll get the early bird pricing forever. I won't increase the prices on you if you want to stay for a year, if you want to stay for however long and get not even get out of pain, but increase your athletic capabilities, work with me to completely change your life. Um, you'll have this pricing forever. Um, so yeah, the spots will fill up fast. I have hundreds of people in my DMs. I mean, if you see my Instagram, I have 6,000 followers now in, <laughs> in what, like four or five months, which is absolutely crazy, but I get hundreds of people DMing me. How can I get out of knee pain? How can I do this? So if you're tired of living with constant knee pain and you want guidance to get back to your sport, without having confusion about what to do without having a constant feeling of being stuck in never ending cycle of injuries and without and without experience the stress anxiety and fearing that you might never be able to return to the sport you love and get hope dm me i'm in on instagram i get loads of dms every day so i might miss a few so but if you dm me the keyword i'm in i will give you priority because this is something really really important to me i want to make a difference in people's lives so yeah the instagram is at bulletproof baller and it's also linked in the description and yeah thanks for watching this obviously i hope the training can help you either way but if you if you want to come into my online coaching community and accelerate your results i would love to help you so i look forward to your message awesome